This is Professor Hildebrandt. In this example, I'm going to show you how we would go about calculating the CPI. Again, this is from Chapter 6. The CPI stands for the Consumer Price Index, and this is the index that we use the most often um, to try to gauge what inflation is in our economy. So here's the formula that you need um, to calculate our CPI. It's simply the cost of the basket Remember, that's what the, we're measuring here, a basket of goods that we think uh, goods and services the typical household buys in a year. So the cost of that basket in the current year divided by the cost in the base year times 100 will give us our index. Um, another equation that you'll need to use for this is, well, how do we get cost? The cost for each item is simply the price that we paid for the item times the quantity we purchased. Since we are calculating the cost of a basket of goods and services, we'll have to calculate cost for each item in the basket and add those together to get the total basket cost. So here's our hypothetical example. We're gonna assume that our family of four is gonna to go to uh, the movies, watch a, watch a movie in the theater. So first we have our quantity here. We're gonna purchase four movie tickets, two popcorns, and four sodas. Uh, 2012 in this case is our base year, okay, and in 2012 our prices were $6.54 and $1.50. Then in 2013, a year later, the prices for two have increased. Our ticket is now eight, our sodas are now two, and the price of popcorn has stayed constant at $4. So again, I'm going to start with the cost for my base year. And so that would be the 650 times four for my movie tickets, or $26. Four dollars times two for my popcorn, and that, so that'll be eight. And then $1.50 times four for the sodas, which is six. And so my total cost of the basket in the base year is $40. All right, I'm gonna do something very similar for my current year. Remember, we're going to hold our quantity constant because we're trying to get a measure that shows us how price has changed. We can't allow both price and quantity to change. We're trying to isolate the change in price so we hold quantity constant, okay? So the, this port, part here, these are our quantities if you went back to the other screen. So the four tickets to popcorns and four sodas. But our prices now are eight for the tickets, four for the popcorn, and two dollars for those sodas. So we have 32, eight, and eight, which will give us a total basket cost in the current year of $48. Okay, so remember going back to the formula, cost of the basket in the current year divided by the cost of the basket in the base year. So the current year is the 48 divided by the 40 times 100. And if you pop this into a calculator, you would see that our CPI is 120. So again, going back to the example I showed you on chapter five, calculating percentage change, if I just want to compare this to my base year, it's pretty straightforward. Remember that formula for percentage change, new minus old over old times 100. Again, you don't really have to use the formula for comparing to the base year, but just for practice. So we found my CPI to be 120. We know in the base year, it's always 100, right? And so we would end up here with a rate of inflation of 20%, okay?